Hey everybody, before we dive into today's show, just wanted to share with you this amazing offer from Equalife that I think you'll enjoy. It is for a free bottle of our Clean Gut Probiotic. This is a full-size bottle, a 30-day supply, taking two probiotics per day called the Clean Gut Probiotic. It has 4.9 stars, which is pretty fantastic since, of course, we don't pay anybody. These are all uh, anonymized. People are able to leave their reviews about the product. But the reason why people very much enjoy it is because you get specific strain probiotics. So it lists literally the acidophilus. It lists the bifidobacterium lactis, the lactobacillus ruteri, and many more. Plus, you get Saccharomyces boulardii, which helps to clean the pathogenic, so the harmful yeast and bacteria out of the gut while repopulating with healthy bacteria and healthy yeast. So the goal here is to be able to use this product maybe whenever you've used uh, antibiotics or you're looking to help with light bloating, mild gas, constipation, etc. Right now, it's completely free on all qualifying orders by going to stephencabral.com slash shop. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome to The Cabral Concept, where board-certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion, with new 20-minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. We're here today on part two of our Cabral House Calls, hoping to get to another five to six of our community's questions, just like we do every Saturday and Sunday here in the show. For all the back episodes and to see if your question has already been answered, head on over to stephencabral.com slash podcast. And of course, if you want same day answers, just write in at our private Facebook group for your question. You'll get an answer to it at cabralsupportgroup.com. All right, let's Let's dive right into today's questions on all things wellness, body transformation, anti-aging, uh, anything the community may write in. We do not censor it. We answer every single question that's written in. All right, let's dive into it. If you want to follow along with the questions, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 2921 and pick up a free copy of my book, The Rain Barrel Effect, if you haven't already read it. All right, Jeffrey's up. Jeffrey says, hello from one of your grateful students. I searched the podcast for info on a product called transfer factor, but found no results. I have a potential client who's recovering from chemo, pancreatic tumor, and is taking the product to support immunity. Uh, would love to hear your thoughts on it. Also compared to the immunity protocol. Thanks. All right, Jeffrey, uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for writing in. So whenever anyone's recovering from chemotherapy, uh, pancreatic, you know, pancreatic tumor, or you know, cancer in general, there's not one product. So I just want to state that. And, and I apologize. I was already supposed to have all my cancer-based research out. It's been, I've been unbelievably busy uh, with all the different projects. I know it's no excuse, but I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, what, what I always do is I listen to the community and I say, what's the greatest need right now? Uh, let me try to help with that. And so all the cancer research is so... Um, exhaustive, meaning like how many books that I've read and research that I've read. And, and I don't, I want to do it right. So having said that, we don't know yet exactly what nutrient is needed for what type of cancer, but we do know that there's so many helpful natural health based nutrients that you can add on to whatever protocol you might be following. Um, and I don't want to go through them all right now, but there's, you know, of course, there's your beta glucans, there's your, um, well, I'll talk about transfer factor in one second. There's, there's just so many, I, I, I'd be remiss if I just started to name like six, because then people might just go for those six. There's so many great ones. You need to make sure you're taking care of your base nutrients, your foundational nutrients first, and then starting to go down the line and look at all the interesting ones like a pawpaw, graviola, et cetera. All right. So what's transfer factor? Well, transfer factor is a specific protein or natural chemical that is extracted essentially from lymphocytes. Like it's going to help with T lymphocytes uh, that might be beneficial for people to support their immune system. Here's the thing though. I have not started using transfer factor yet. Uh, 
It's in trials. They're looking at it scientifically right now, meaning like research-based, to see if there's validity to it, to be an add-on or adjunct to these protocols. I just haven't seen that finished research yet. Having said that, if someone's running their blood work and they're low on lymphocytes, maybe this would be a product that could be quite helpful added on to the nutrients we already know our body needs, meaning like it would never replace vitamin C, vitamin D, or zinc. Right? It couldn't possibly replace those. Even things like vitamin E, vitamin A, those powerful antioxidants. So still taking, as long as it's okay with your doctor, a good daily nutritional support or daily uh, activated multivitamin, something like the daily fruit and vegetable blend to get more of the uh, organic fruits and vegetables in your diet without necessarily the, the uh, digestive issues. Uh, omega-3s, like all these things can be really powerful. But yes, there might be a time and place for this as well. So that, that's all I can answer for right now. Uh, I want to see more research because it's not on my, it's not even on my top 20 list uh, as of yet. Now, more research comes in, different story. Thanks, Jeffrey, for writing in. Zach's up next. Zach writes, yo, Doc C, what's good, homie? I have two questions. First, did Moose Cabral have a middle name? Second, what is your favorite cookie or cookies if you have more than one? P.S. You are the man. Thank you for continuously dropping gems of knowledge for all to hear and learn. Keep up the great work. Much appreciated. Well, I don't know who Zach is, but these are amazing questions. So I love answering all questions. Happy to answer the personal ones as well. So my dog, Moose, who was one of the most amazing French bulldogs, my wife and I were the, we were on the early adopter train of French bulldogs. We've had a French bulldog since 2003, uh, before they were really a thing. And we were living in, in downtown Boston, uh, in the back bay and, uh, Amazing, amazing dogs. Great apartment dogs. We always had very, very small apartments. Our first apartment was, well, our very first apartment was like 275 square feet. <laughs> that was very small. Uh, our second one was 600 something square feet. Uh, but Moose, Moose um, was our second French bulldog. And he lived a fairly long time. He was unhealthy, unfortunately, the last couple of years of his life uh, due to lead poisoning, un unbeknownst to us. Unfortunately, he got lead poisoning. Uh, it affected his heart. His heart tripled in size. Uh, he was given anywhere between three and six months to live, and he lived almost three years. So my wife um, took really great care of him. Um, I obviously tried to, to help my best as well with my, my uh, naturopathy background, and we did our best for him. And uh, he was a great dog. He was a great part of our family. We now have a new dog. Dog. The new dog's name is Bachi, like the Italian chocolate. He's chocolate uh, colored. King Charles Cavalier. We've never had a King Charles Cavalier. They are equally amazing dogs, but totally different. Um, I don't want to get sidetracked right now. Completely different. And uh, as literally, I know you can't see it right now, a raccoon just walked right up to my glass door in my office. Raccoons shouldn't be out during the day. That's not a good sign. All right, let's get back to the show here. So, um, okay, did Moose have a middle name? Yes. Uh, after a couple of years, his nickname became Piggy. That was it. And that's because he snorted like a pig. Now, French Bulldogs can often do that, but his love of food, his love of mischief, and uh, his snorting and snoring got him the middle name Piggy. All right. Second question. What's your favorite cookie or cookies if you have more than one? Well, I am... I very much love a good chocolate chip cookie. So my wife makes amazing chocolate chip cookies. She's got this like smashing technique where she makes the cookies, uh, cookie dough, uh, puts in the oven for like five minutes or so, takes them out, smashes the tray on the counter. And that, I don't know what it does to it. It like somehow flattens them out and makes them absolutely delicious. And then she sprinkles some meld on um, sea salt on top afterwards. So those are like my first, second, and third favorite cookie. So uh, I would say uh, that's that, that. That's that. All right. So thank you so much, Zach, for writing in with the fun questions. All right. Andy's up next. My daughter is going on a mission trip to Peru in March. It is suggested that she take typhoid and malaria pills before departure. I would rather not do this. What would a natural recommendation be? All right. So I cannot provide any medical advice, medical cures, medical diagnosis, or medical treatments in any way, shape, or form. So I'll just tell you what I did. When I was traveling to India, I was told to get 17 vaccinations before I went over. Now, again, 
I'm going for my doctoral degree in naturopathy. I'm going overseas to India. I was at Sri Lanka. I was in all sorts of different places. And they recommended all these different vaccines. And I just said to myself, now, again, this doesn't mean it's the right choice for you. I just decided decided that, you know what, I was, I'm not going to do this. Um, I believe that I have the knowledge and know-how that if I were to get these things, I could seek both conventional medicine and, and natural health-based um, procedures. So um, that's that. Okay. On typhoid, I don't have a great answer for you, except that uh, people do things to boost their immune system. They do things like using colloidal silver. They'll do things like using oregano oil. There's actually some PubMed research that I've read on this with using things like senna, senna leaf, um, cassia with eucalyptus. Yeah, a few, a few like that. Okay, so not certainly not an expert uh, in typhoid, but malaria, done a lot of research on that because everywhere I went in India, and I've been to India three times in Sri Lanka once, uh, was uh, the chance for malaria. And there is, and I've, I've actually done this research, um, meaning I've shared the research on the podcast before, on Artemisia. You may know it as sweet wormwood. Okay, Artemisia, sweet wormwood, one and the same have been known for years to be and to fight off malaria. Now, so much so that the conventional medicine medication is typically an extract of Artemisia. So just wanted to let you know that that's what I did, sweet wormwood. Um, it also helps with parasites. So a nice little um, adjunct to that as well. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. All right, Lauren's up next. This will be our... Well, let's see. Let's see how many questions we can get in today. I would love to do a couple more. All right. Lauren says, I have lymph nodes in my neck and on my collarbone that have been noticeable for over a year. When I've been to my primary care doctor, it's normal when your body, they say it's normal when your body's fighting an infection. But this has been forever. They don't seem to be getting bigger, but they also aren't going away. They're also very puffy. I can't do anything to get the puffiness go away. I did take your inflammation test and I was off the chart with inflammations. I also did the food sensitivity test and the only thing sensitive to was sesame, brazil nuts, and vanilla. I've stayed away from those and nothing has changed. My doctors have told me that I have very low blood pressure. I'm not sure if this is related. Any suggestions? Thanks. Okay, so very similar to the question that I answered from, oh, it was from yesterday. Okay, so David wrote in yesterday in episode 2920. And it was about his eight-year-old son, but it's not different for adults. So what we want to do is we want to say, what is the bacteria? What's the yeast? What is the virus? What's the heavy metals? What's going on inside of your body that there is a constant fight, a constant flow, and a constant cleanup of white blood cells in these lymph nodes? So now the nice thing is an adult, you can do sauna, right? You can do rebounding. Uh, so those are very helpful as well. You can do dry brushing. So I'm recommending those, right? Dry brushing. Uh, uh, one of the best things that you could do is literally do rebounding, dry brushing, and get the sauna, right? Like, so that's a great thing to do as many days a week as possible. Four or five days, that's fantastic. Okay. But we also want to begin to work on what's the underlying root cause. So if you can, uh, I know you ran the inflammation test, which is great. I would run the Bacteria and parasite stool tests, like I told David um, to do yesterday, again, just suggesting it, uh, or run the big three if possible. Actually, you ran the food sensitivity. Okay, so I would run the starter kit and the bacteria and parasite stool test if you're able to run all three. Then follow the protocol that's suggested to you because every lab test at Equal Life or with an integrative health practitioner comes with a plan. I gave you some of the lifestyle things to do there, getting your walking going as well. There's one more thing I wanted to share with you. Let's see what it was. Oh, and then please go to stephencabral.com slash the dash protocol. Sorry, I just had to jog my memory. stephencabral.com slash the dash protocol might be something that you want to partake in for three to six weeks to boost the immune system. So this is what I do when I get a virus or a cold or I need to fight something off, okay? All right, Marissa is up next. Marissa says, are there any dietary changes or supplements I can implement to help reduce inflammation in my child that has an auto-inflammatory condition, PFAPA? Could this be related to his impulsivity or ADHD? The answer is yes, it can, and most likely is absolutely um, a part of it. Well, you don't know if they have what's called an MTHF are gene mutation, um, like myself and many other people have, and they need a bit more uh, activated B vitamins, namely folate, methylcobalamin, typically B6, and trimethylglycine. So I don't know how old the child is, but typically 
um, we, we would, with most children, use the daily activated multivitamin. Um, if they're 50 pounds or under, like 30 to 50 pounds, they'll just use one capsule. If they're 50 to 75 pounds, they'll use two capsules. If they're 75 to 100 pounds, they'll use three capsules. And um, then once they get to be an adult, they'll use four capsules. They'll also use, in an ideal world, the daily fruit and vegetable blend, uh, and they'll take omega-3. If they're still young, they will just do a quarter teaspoon of the daily omega-3 support. That's certainly going to help. And let's see what else. Um, and then you always want to find, again, you want to find the root cause of the inflammation. Like that's that's always the goal. Is there other gut issues? Um, you can run this. The, the best one to run with a child, without a doubt, is a starter kit. Simple, couple snips of hair, urine sample. You'll find out so much information about vitamin levels, mineral levels, gut issues, heavy metals. I run, I recommend every human run the starter kit. And you can just find that at stephencabral.com slash starter dash kit, or just stephencabral.com slash shop, and you'll be able to find it. So thank you, Marissa. And, and I wish all the best to you and your child uh, for sure. All right. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce this. Katazina. Katazina. I apologize. I'm not the best at pronouncing names. It's K-A-T-A-R-Z-Y-N-A. Katarzyna. Um, it's, I want to lose some weight. Can you help me? Kind regards. All right. Straightforward, simple question. Happy to help. So there's three main ways I can help. The first one is I have a whole category of podcasts just on weight loss. All the information is free. That is at stephencabral.com slash podcasts. And just scroll through the images at the top. There's about 12 different categories. And what my team has done is we've really just narrowed down the shows to be in these categories to make it easier for you to consume all the information you want on one particular topic. The next is to begin what's called the Fatlocity System. It may be renamed for 2024, but for right now, it's called the Fatlocity System. I've been using this for many, many years. And so it's not just what's what is the first ever AM and PM formula to help with energy, to help with thyroid, to help with circulation, to help with mood, uh, to help with overall metabolism. And yes, it helps with weight loss. And, uh, and it doesn't just come with the nutritional supplements. It actually comes with a whole system for weight loss. And you get that free with the product. Okay. And then the last one is, if you want an individual weight plan just for you, I would run this stress, mood, and metabolism test. It's one lab, and it gives you all your hormones, including cortisol, thyroid, vitamin D, and uh, hemoglobin A1C, insulin for blood sugar. So that's where I would start. It's the most straightforward. And I think that that can be really helpful. So the lab is at stephencabral.com slash hormones dash test. Fatlocity is at stephencabral.com slash Fatlocity, that's F-A-T-L-O-S-S-I-T-Y. And the free podcasts on weight loss are at stephencabral.com slash podcast. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you everybody for writing into the show. I thank you. I appreciate all the subscribes, all the listens, all the reviews of the show. It certainly helps us to get our message out to more people in the world. And I will be back tomorrow as always with a brand new Mindset and Motivation Monday. Don't miss it. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into today's show. And just in case you missed the intro to today's Cabral Concept, we are giving away a completely free full-size bottle of the Clean Gut Probiotic. This is a $47 offer, yours free on all qualifying orders, and you get one of our best-selling probiotics, 4.9 stars. It has about 10 strains of highly curated good gut bacteria and Saccharomyces boulardii, which helps to push out pathogenic based yeast and bacteria. One of the favorites because it helps with bloating, it helps with gas, helps with occasional constipation, loose stool, etc. If you haven't tried it before, I highly recommend taking advantage of this offer. It's completely free on all qualifying orders. Yours free right now by heading on over to stephencabral.com slash shop. Enjoy.